Hey everybody, this intro is going to be a little different as I forgot to shoot an intro for this video. Anyhow, welcome to Hunting Rocks. As always, I am your hunting guide, Jeff. I hope you enjoy the video. Dustin and I are about to find some really cool fluorite pieces and uh, have a really good time at a Chain of Rocks Canal. He's never actually been there before. So anyhow, hope you enjoy the video. Hope I can get a like, share, and subscribe. And uh, let's get to the video. So guys, it may be kind of hard to hear me because of the road. Let me screw back my camera a little bit. But that right there is fluorite. I am at an area right here in St. Louis County that does have fluoride in it. So Dustin, who has joined me today, this is, uh, as you can see, there's some little clear fluorite crystals there. I'll post some better pictures of them up in the video, but we're gonna keep looking around, see what we can find. So we've been looking at these uh, rock nodules down here that we've been finding. Uh, Dustin just popped this one open and look at that. That is, I'm pretty sure a fluorite geode. That yeah. thing is pretty inside. Good find, good find. <laughs> Yeah, cool. I finally got one. Well, we're going to keep looking, and as we find cool stuff, we'll definitely let you know. All right, guys, I'm going to be picking up these little uh, little round ones here, these little round nodules. And these will be cut open on the rock saw today, so we'll see what we got. This one here looks like a like a piece of poopy and here's a big one so I'm gonna get looking around see if I can find some really pretty looking uh, fluorite for you and we'll go from there I'm gonna I'm just gonna walk along this way so I'm gonna turn the camera off because the road is a little loud and I'm gonna check out what that black streak is over there too well guys I look down at the ground and I saw this. I'm pretty sure this is calcite. It could be fluorite, but the, the crystallization shape doesn't look right. I'll get this home. I'll dip it in a little acid. Fluorite is not bothered by uh, muriatic acid, aka hydrochloric, so we'll see from there. All right, you guys, Dustin's working the wall there hard stuff we got dolomite got to be careful with the stuff above our heads it looks pretty stable but safety first I'm keeping an eye on him there but I'm also keeping an eye on the ground here because I am finding tons of these nodules now I don't know if they'll have anything in them but I'm collecting them up just in case looks like some of them do is really quite the interesting area people have worked this before besides us but here's a nice one that's already been cracked open for me take a little work not too terribly bad what do we got here oh, another nodule we'll see see how that looks how about this one that one looks pretty solid it's got a lot of weight to it yeah, I'm going to leave it. There's a nodule that just popped out. Kind of has a purplish color to it. So that's always good. You can see this wall here. It's got the dolomite, the churd in it. All sorts of different things running through it. It's got a lot of clay and mud too. I'm going to dig into some of this clay mud here. See if I can't find any uh, any big crystals. Just gotta watch my head. That's the only thing. So I just popped this one out of the wall. It broke as I was doing it. Ah, come back here. It sat like that. I gave it a little pop, and that's what we have inside. Look at those pretty crystals. So oh, this is this is a really cool spot. All right, guys, it's gonna be a good long video today. Three different spots. I got Dustin down to Chain of Rocks finally. Dustin, is this your first time here? This is my first time here. His first time down here. He's, uh, we're going to hopefully find him some neat things. I've already found a really pretty honey agate. I'm going to get it close to the camera. I don't know if you can see the lines in it. If not, I'll, uh, I'll figure out something yeah. we can do with it. But anyhow, we're going to do, uh, do some hunting for smaller rocks now, pretty rocks, and see what we can find. 
not nearly as windy down here as it was yesterday when I shot the video. And the buoy, the buoy's still there. Anyhow, let's get to looking. So this here is probably a Montana agate. Now, I'm sure when it started its trip years and years and years ago, before it went thousands of miles down the Missouri River to wind up in the Mississippi River, it probably looked a lot better than this. But, thing is how I live in Missouri, that's a long drive to Montana. I'm pretty happy with having it. Not quite sure what I got here. It's a crystallized something or another. Pretty cool looking. Let's check over here by this campfire that was had. There we go. This, I believe, is a piece of jade. I have found jade on this beach quite a few times, and I believe this one might be a piece of it. Here's a nice little piece of yellow jasper, and over here I got a red jasper. So, yellow and red. Don't make orange because you can't smash them together. I mean, maybe you can, I don't know. I can't. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice little honey agate. Just sitting there. That's a pretty one. Heck yeah. And there's another one. Little bitty guys, but they'll go in my bag. Let's see what else we can find. Guys, I am having a great day today finding actually pretty decent sized honey agates. Holy cow. I don't know what's going on. Dustin may be my lucky charm for this. I'm going to have to keep bringing him down here. Keep walking. All right. I'm going to turn off the camera. If I find anything else cool, I'll turn it off. Oh, wait, nope. Look at that. A little piece of petrified wood. All right. Well, I'm going to turn off the camera and keep looking. When I find some more cool stuff, I'll turn it on and show you. I promise. Another really nice piece of petrified wood just found. Along with a couple of agates. Tell you what, these agates are all over this beach. They're they're not the best looking, you know. You guys up north, you find way better agates than we do, but we, we get what you send down to us through the river, and we thank you for that. So send us some more that you don't want. They'll get tumbled up, and heck, I'll pick them up. I'm not a proud man. Well, I've come down to the river's edge. I think that might be an agate. Could just be a piece of rolled quartz, but this, that's a really nice piece of yellow jasper. Holy cow, that's a nice piece. Let me, let me rinse it off a little bit. Oh yeah. That, that might not even be jasper. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check this out. I think it's jasper, it could be yellow jade. I won't know until I get some cutting done onto it and some uh, some weighing, specific gravity and hardness tests. But that's pretty cool. Into the bag you go. I have no idea what that is. It's a really pretty blue. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. We'll see what it looks like once it dries up. I will try to remember to show it to you guys before I leave here today. So into the pocket it goes. The bag is where I put stuff that I know I have. The pocket is where I put stuff that I'm not sure. That's a pretty piece of quartz. That's coming with me. All right, let's keep walking this water. It feels nice on my feet. Almost 80 degrees out here today. The rubber boots are a little warm. Still too cold to go swimming though. Oh, what do we got here? Interesting. So go in the bag too. Guys, I found a really cool honey agate. It almost looks like it has eyes or something in it. I don't know. I really dig this piece. This is probably the prettiest one I've ever found down here. Hold it up to the light. Oh yeah. <laughs> so 
Yeah, I found this one right over by Dustin. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that one was actually mine. You just found it. <laughs> that thing's beautiful, man. <laughs> That's a cool one. All right, you guys. I've made it home. Actually, I made it home yesterday. This is, uh, this is now Thursday. As you can see, we've got quite a few of the uh, rather large nodules from yesterday. A few of the small ones uh, with the... Uh, fluorite it is fluorite it glows a beautiful blue and green underneath in my uv light but uh today i'm gonna cut into some of these gonna try to cut these fluorite specimens they're rather large and then uh, i'm gonna do some of these uh union road agates see if we get anything good out of them as you can see i got the rock cutter set up and ready to go just a cheap little Chicago electric power tool. Got it from Harbor Freight. But we're going to get cutting on these. I'm going to set it up and uh, I'll speed the video up once I start cutting. All right, here we go. This is the first one powering on the saw. Okay, you guys, I am done cutting. I've cut quite a few pieces. I had a bunch that didn't have anything in them, so they're not on the table here. But this is that great big one you saw me start to cut at the beginning. I haven't cut through this one or this one yet. It's getting a little chilly on my hands. But as you can see the crystals in there, we apparently have a hodgepodge mix between calcite and fluorite throughout these rocks. That right there is fluorite. This is fluorite, I know for sure. Fluorite, I haven't seen any calcite yet, but tonight, whenever I kick on the UV light, I'm gonna try to catch some, uh, some glow of it, and you should be able to see it. Also, I didn't get any Union Road agates, but what I did get, hold on one second, let me, let me show you this, then I'm gonna go get it wet and show you what it looks like. Get this up into the sun. What I did find was a really nice size pudding stone. That is a rock. That is not concrete. So, yeah. Found a pudding stone out in Gravoy Creek. Pretty happy with that. Gonna get it, uh, get some of those ridges knocked down and get it polished up and see how good it looks. Well, guys, that's the video for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. Hamilton hopes you enjoyed it. This video took a little longer than normal to, uh, to film. It took uh, three days, including today. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Hamilton hopes you enjoyed it. Yeah, don't you hope they enjoy it. And we will see you guys the next time we're out hunting rocks.